Casey Hart. We've seen it on t-shirts, hats, other swag in the past, but this year we saw Casey Hart artwork all over the metro. Tonight, KSHB 41 News reporter Gian Kim explains what the Parade of Hearts means and how it's helping our community. We've all seen them by now. Popped up across the metro at our corner stores, parks, and Kansas City landmarks. But like all good things close to the heart, this too must come to an end. Yeah, I'll be sad to see them go. I'd like to see them up. Abby Mueller made it her mission to visit every single heart. 156 locations across two states. Just became a goal. The journey took her all over the heartland, places she's never seen before and people she never knew. It's been fun and it's it's been awesome just seeing the different people at the hearts. I mean, I love talking to people. It fulfilled its purpose, that it unified our community. Tucker Trotter is one of the founders of the Parade of Hearts project. He tells me it was born out of a need but grew into something so much bigger than all of us. I think we needed it because there was so much division. I think we needed it because we were at home. We needed people to see other parts of their community that they've never seen before. To continue the legacy of the hearts, every one of them will be auctioned off online and at this event Friday night. All proceeds will benefit four local organizations that serve people who were hit hardest during 2020. This was an opportunity for everyone to have an excuse to come together and prove why we are better and why we should set the example for other cities to follow. Gian Kim, KSHB 41 News.